Now in Israel, long before Ahab built the temple of Baal in Samaria, Baal worship was already creeping in. It had always been there. Israel was torn always between God and Baal. From early on, the nation was struggling between the two or going back and forth. And then when it fell into total apostasy, then Baal became supreme, taking over the culture. But it was always there, back and forth. Could there be an actual parallel with America that even in our history, because if we were founded by the Puritans after the pattern of Israel, and now if we fall away from God, we are watching the same pattern of Israel coming back, could we actually have this pattern somewhere in our history linking with the, the back and forth with Baal? Certainly, we've always had the idol of money and pleasures and profits, always temptation, but something else. In ancient Israel, the northern kingdom, where was the temple of Baal built? It was built in Samaria, the capital, capital city. So if America is after the pattern, could there actually be a sign early in our history about that struggle, something hidden linked to all this in, even in our nation's capital? We know that the capital has classical architecture based on Greece and Rome, and certainly not godly, the architecture, what it came from. But it would be very strange if we could actually find any link to Baal, the Canaanite anti-God obscure of the ancient Israelites that was the substitute for God on our soil. I want to show you something. You can put up the next image. This is the nation's capital building. This is our center of our government. It's not just based on ancient Greek and Roman classical architecture. Listen, if you look at the eastern facade, you can see it there on the left, Look there, with the columns and the crown on top, that is based on the temple of Baal. It's embedded into the capital. Here is the central building of our government, that part based on the temple of Baal. As in ancient Israel, in the capital was the temple of Baal. And it's not only based on the temple of Baal, it's based specific, specifically on one temple of Baal. Which one? The temple of the city of Palmyra, where this arch was. This is, from, this is the, from the temple of Baal in Palmyra, originally capped with a triangular top, eight pillars. Now the temple of Baal in Palmyra. Now put them, show the two together. Eight pillars on the Temple of Baal, eight pillars there. And originally, you know, the top was taken off. It was the same triangular top. It was in the 1700s that the ruins of Palmyra, the city we're talking about, linked to this harbinger, were rediscovered by European travelers and engravings of the Temple of Baal from Palmyra were published in 1753 that influenced Thomas Jefferson. And so the Temple of Baal was embedded in that building and what does it face? That east side, what does it face? That east side, where here you have the facade linked to the Temple of Baal, it faces the Supreme Court. So when the Supreme Court decided to make it legal for America to kill its unborn children in, seven, in, in 1973, the act of Baal, it did so facing the facade of the Temple of Baal. And when this past year the Supreme Court struck down marriage as in the Word of God, it did so faced by the Temple of Baal recreation. The Temple of Baal, they say, has even influenced parts of the White House. And the Temple of Baal from Palmyra, on which it was all based from way back, from ancient times and then time of Thomas Jefferson, was just destroyed last summer. It doesn't exist anymore. And that arch, now America has specifically rebuilt it, linked to that which was there all the time. Act of defiance. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. 
to get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.